Hey everybody, Massman84, and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Fire Ash. Last time we made our way to Veilstone City, and before we got here, we had to fight some reoccurring villains, as in Biff and Cassidy. They were a very tough duo. <laughs> I didn't count, but I'm pretty sure they had more than six Pokemon. Or maybe they're rocking six Pokemon each. I don't know. But we're here, we're in the big city, which is great. Uh, let's explore, and then take on the gym leader. Shall we? I wish we could turn that mountain into something useful. We could build a headquarters on it or something. Headquarters. The city's striving to become the best. We have so much already. May Lee recently suffered a tough defeat to Trinity and Paul. He said he said pretty harsh things to her, and she hasn't been normal since. Yikes. I didn't like that we have a place to gamble. What will the children think? Do not gamble, kids. Do not. It's a top. Would you like being a groom on your Pokemon? Sure. Grim my... Groom my Chimchar, please. It's kind of sad how the word groom is, uh... Used more in a negative light. Find what you have at the Veilstone Department Store. I mean, I know what they mean by, like, uh, breeding, grooming the Pokemon, but, like, if you're online a lot, part of online communities, you've definitely heard of it at some point. <laughs> you want to challenge the gym? Haha, <laughs> good luck. She's better than you would think. Alright, get some mixed signals of, about the residents of Veilstone City. About the gym leader's strength. Man, I'm not used to these big towns, so I feel like I'm missing stuff. It's gotta run everywhere. These machines are rigged, I can never win. Oh my goodness, dude, you're falling for the trap! Uh, we're not... I just wanna see what they sell. And we don't care about cards. We don't care about that. Sure. I never win those, Ben. I'm not a big trader type of guy. Like, you got a Pokemon here. Gib! Gib! Why is a Rotom 9 9? Actually, Rotom's pretty good. Depending on which uh, version you get. Uh, what kind of prizes? Cell battery. They have ability capsules? They have bottle caps? Yo! I'm getting eight ability capsules. I do not care. No, no, no. Oh my goodness, they got ability capsules. That's huge. What's Gligar's ability right now? I'll wait till it evolves. And then we'll, we'll we'll look into what I'm thinking. Some of you might already know what I'm thinking, you know. Abilities are a big deal. I'll just say straight off the bat, uh, Star Review's ability is perfectly fine. Okay. Dude, I I'm excited. Alright, well, keep that in mind. Mental note. Ability capsules here. I saw air balloons and whatnot, too. <sighs> if air balloons didn't get used in PvE, like, after one use, I would definitely buy an air balloon. But we're not doing that. Air balloon keeps you afloat, so you can't get hit by ground-type attacks. But the second you get hit by an attack, uh, you fall to the floor. My friend went on a journey some time ago. Hope they're doing okay. I hope so, too. Hello there, my name is Reggie, and you are? So you're Ash. My brother Paul has mentioned you a few times. I take care of his Pokemon while he's traveling. I'm sure he has caused you some trouble, so I'd like to make it up to you. Feel free to ask me anything. Sure. So this is Paul's brother. Reggie's pretty cool. Uh, it's really funny in the anime. Like, Dawn brings it up. She's like, wow, Reggie is nothing like his brother. And, uh... 
Reggie is here to teach uh, Ash Brave Bird, or specifically Staravia. And once again, there's one thing that's awesome about Ash. He's like, he participates in the growth of his Pokemon. Like, he will, he will be on the field with them training to learn new moves and stuff. I remember uh, Staravia was trying to learn Brave Birds. Like, you need to move in target. And Ash's like, I'll be the target. And like, oh! <laughs> yeah, Reggie's a pretty cool guy. And Brock makes note of all of the accomplishes, accomplishments Reggie has made. He has all the gym badges, uh, you know, for the four generations. And he has six frontier symbols from the Kanto battle frontier. Stay away from my house. You can't just go in it because you want... I'm the protagonist. Let me in. That this guy breaking a script, but yeah, some foreshadowing. And we, and I guess Reggie also learns that Ash has Chimchar now, no longer Paul. That happens quite a lot for reasons you'll find out later on. But people recognize that this was used to be Paul's Chimchar. But hey, we got Brave Bird. We see Brave Bird on Swallow because of uh, the Move Tutor. But Brave, Brave Bird's pretty sick. It's like Volt Tackle, but for flying. Alright. And because Reggie's a breeder, you know how Ash has Professor Oak, Paul has Reggie. Hunch Crow! It's really funny, because all the Electabuzz we've seen before, they either go, Electabuzz! <laughs> and then this one doesn't even say anything. It's like, okay. But yeah. Uh, Maylene got the pants beat off of her by Paul. Paul called her, like, the weakest gym leader in Sinnoh, and now she's all depressed. But, uh... Let's go to the gym! Maybe she'll battle us. Is there everything that... Have I seen everybody yet? I think I have. Reggie's our local breeder. He can train even the most stubborn of personalities. I was passing through and heard the gym leader's depressed because of her defeat to Paul. I couldn't stand the thought of him hurting someone, so I battled with her and cheered her up. No need to worry. She's doing great now. I'll see you around. Bye, Ash. So yeah, both Dawn and Maylene were both in slumps, so Dawn thought it'd be a good idea to raise Maylene's spirits. And Maylene's ace wasn't very happy with her moping around. We'll talk about her ace when we get to it. I'm sure we'll see her real soon. Anyways, at the gym... Maylene uses fighting type Pokemon. They are weak to, against the flying, psychic, and fairy types. They are strong against normal, ice, dark, rock, and steel. They are resistant to bug, dark, and rock. I feel like I repeated myself. Maybe not. Um. So I taught Gligar off screen. I taught it Aerial Ice. I replaced Stone Edge for now because we're in a fighting type gym. You know, I should probably run a move that's super effective against fighting types. Challenge already. You're prepared. Oh ho! A challenge. One thing that was great about Dawn versus Maylene was we got a chance to see Dawn participate in a gym battle. Which is pretty cool, not gonna lie, you know? Terracross and Krogunk. I always forget, because again, I haven't used a Toxic Croak before. I keep forgetting if its abilities one of it, or like one of his abilities will like help it with fire or water or something like that. I don't know. Like thinking about not rough skin. Whatever, I'll look it up later. I should have looked this up earlier, but whatever, dude. But yeah, it was cool to see Dawn participate in a battle. A gym battle. And she, like, realizes the stakes or how difficult or intimidating they are when she's in the, in the thick of it. Because obviously, Dawn's a Pokemon trainer. She knows how to participate in Pokemon battles. But contests are, you know, more elegant. More exhilarating. I'm uh, debatable on exhilarating. Uh, a lot more majestic. But yeah, she used uh, Baneri, Ambipom, and Piplup. But uh, it's cool that Ambipom got to participate in the gym battle. Like, after it evolved, you know? Got a chance to. But it was uh, quite the bad matchup with the fighting type gym that she pulled up with two normal types. But the final battle between Piplup and the Ace of Maylene was a fun watch. 
This is just a, a cool part of the, the Pokemon anime. It's, uh, ma many reasons why Sinnoh is peak. Not only does Ash get to participate in contests, Don got to participate in a gym match. And Paul, or not Paul, and uh, Reggie got to uh, bond with, with Brock, I guess. Scary face! <laughs> Meditate! Aerial Ace, and go for Shadow Claw. Alright. My joke! Aerial Ace, and Chimchar Flamethrower. Yummy. Now for held items. This will be a three-on-three -three battle. Ash does not use Pikachu for this. So this could get a little tense, you know what I'm saying? He uses Staravia, obviously. A good, a good matchup against fighting types. Chimchar and his newly caught or traded Weasel. So let us go heal and also make extra sure we didn't miss anything in Veilstone City. Oh yeah, we did miss some stuff. We didn't go inside a department store. Uh, let's go in there before we do our gym match. You know what? We can go shopping later. We'll do it later. Okay. Uh, Gligar, you are not fighting. Chimchar, I think, because Staravia is has at least one evolution. Oh, you have Citrus Berry already. Do I rock Citrus Berry? I think I should rock Citrus Berry. Yeah, we'll do that. Because we have Brave Bird. Do that. For Chimchar and Buizel, we'll do Eviolite. I wish I had a few more Eviolite. Hopefully, when we get to Unova, we get more Eviolites. Uh, for reasons that should be very obvious. <laughs> Anyways, we're not talking about Unova. We're talking about Peak Sinnoh. Peak, peak, peak. Uh, Evil Light, Evil Light. Forgot how high I had to go. Does somebody else have it? Somebody else might have it. Let's check. Turtwig? Yeah. Alright, I'm trying to decide who to start with. Hmm. Who do Maylene start with? I know she has a Metatite. Is that the one she started with? Dude, I forgot. It's been like a few weeks since I watched that gym bed match. Uh... We'll start. We'll start with Staravia and see how the match goes. Um, we'll set the style to switch. Let's do it to it. The gym battle itself was a fun watch. Not the best gym match, but uh, I liked it. I, I do love how Sinnoh takes secondary effects uh, a lot more seriously. <laughs> Make them more common. Uh, confusion plays a big role in this. But funny enough, because Confusion is in this... There's some Pokemon that should be just pushovers to BH. Hi, hope you're ready for a super hard challenge, because I sure am. Sorry about not accepting challenges earlier. I was, a bit, I was in a bit of a funk. I'm going to do my best to make the wait worth it, though. Okay. Uh, Staravia, Chimchar, and Weasel. Here we go for our third Sinnoh Gym Badge. You are challenged by Gym Leader Maylene. Who is definitely not Misty's voice actor. <laughs> Anyways, it was Meta Titan. I should have started with Chimchar. In fact, we're gonna do that. Return! Go, Chimchar! It, this thing has Drain Punch and Detect and Meditate. Uh, right, you're back to neutral, eh? Shadow Claw! Let's go, Chimchar! 
Lucario right off the bat. All right, here's uh, the ace of the gym. I'm going to send in Staravia for the Intimidate. That's why I kind of swapped it out earlier. Expecting the ace to come last. So Lucario versus Buizel was a fun watch. The top of the gym, like the roof, it got blown up between a clash of Aura Sphere and Buizel's brand new move, Water Pulse. Can I get a flinch? <gasps> Buizel! Okay, that wasn't supposed to happen. Lovely trucker. Luckily, a fire type is good against a steel type like Lucario. Flamethrower! Oh, you're faster. Bone Rush. Luckily, that's a Goo Goo Gaga move. Uh, I lied. You hit me three times. That wasn't very nice. She went for Flame Charge, but you died! But yeah, the ceiling of the roof broke, and it was raining, so... Swift Swim activated. It's pretty cool. Weasel got to use its ability. And the gym match actually ended in a draw! Something you don't really see often for, for gym matches. All right, show him your new move, Brave Bird. I knew it was a Machoke, dude. I just there's always a matchup or a Machoke in a fighting type gym, dude. <laughs> you defeated gym leader Maylene. Such an intense battle. I can hardly hold in my excitement. You've earned the Cobble Badge. We got a Cobble Badge. Here, have this TM too. <gasps> Body press. Yo, that's some heat. TM-47 contains body press. It damages scales based on your Pokemon's defense stat. Interesting! I feel like we're going to have some fun with that move. Not with our Sinnoh team specifically, but... Uh, that should be fun. But I think we're going to end the episode here. So next time on Pokemon Fire Ash, we'll be exploring the rest of Veilstone City, aka the Shopping Mart, and trying to figure out where we're going to go for our fourth gym badge. But, uh, yeah, thank you all for watching, and sayonara.